heartbreaking. He just vanished. He was there, but then he was gone. They made him vanish like it was a magic trick, but then we find out the truth about what happened during the college football championship that was played Monday in Atlanta. President Donald Trump was there. He was on the field. He received nothing but cheers from the majority of the fans. But where was he? Where was he when ESPN was on TV? He was nowhere to be found because ESPN refused to show him on television due to their absurd leftist beliefs and inability to promote content that's happening as it unfolds. They refused to reveal the truth. They refused to be anything but fake news during their cowardly approach to seeing President Trump on their airwaves. Instead of showing the game as it unfolded, the apparent liberal influence based at ESPN refused to show the President of the United States. Perhaps ESPN doesn't agree with his politics, or maybe then just scared like children worrying about what monster is under the bed that's friends with Harvey Weinstein. It was nothing short of embarrassing to watch a massive conglomerate of sports news shy away from displaying President Trump on camera. A station that shows fighting, blood, and people bashing each other's brains enduring iron fist fighting, but they were scared to show a political figure who was honoring Americans. It was disgraceful and disrespectful to the fans, to the P. The national anthem is the one thing that brings all sports fans and athletes together for a few moments just before they battle for victory. It's a respectful, meaningful, patriotic way to unite everyone gracefully and symbolically that most people enjoy and cheer for. Except for ESPN. They just continue to embarrass themselves while making a mockery of sports, culture, and everything else they touch. Breitbart reports. We learned a couple of things during the CFB National Championship Monday night in Atlanta. First, we learned that President Trump is wildly popular. Second, we got a reminder that the clowns at ESPN are as unethical, cowardly, and pathetic as ever. President Trump attended the title game and took part in the pregame ceremonies. Trump was met with raucous cheers when he entered the playing field. ESPN was silent. In fact, their announcers never mentioned Mr. Trump's name before or after the ceremony he took part in. Chris Fowler simply kicked it to the public address announcer before the national anthem. After the Star Spangled Banner was performed by Zach Brown Band and beautifully accompanied by David Walker and high praise, mum was still the word from ESPN when they continued the broadcast or at kickoff. The showcasing of our national anthem was done well by college football. The NFL could learn something here. It was a special moment. But instead of covering what just happened, ESPN fumbled. The announcers don't even mention President Trump after a rousing national anthem in which he stood proudly with military members and sang along with his hand on his heart. Imagine Obama was at the game. They'd talk about what a guy and what a fan he was for 10 minutes. Trump? Not one word. Cowards. There's no other way to put it. It's dishonest and it's weird. So many people watch the BCS games Alabama reign victorious in overtime over Georgia. They watched. They cheered. They engaged in festivities. The people at the game came home to find out their own President Trump was made to vanish from television as if he wasn't even there, even though thousands of fans cheered him on. Trump probably went home and heard about it as well. The best part about this is that ESPN's grand jester didn't do anything but make them look bad in the process. People truly see who ESPN is and they've become one of the biggest American embarrassment in history. ESPN continues to disappoint sports fans with their social justice warrior approach to sports. Their inability to love America. Their insatiable desire to act like liberalism has poisoned the minds of their programmers. There's nothing more unpatriotic than ESPN right now, and it's just a shame that they've gone this way. As if handing Caitlyn Jenner and Colin Kaepernick weren't embarrassing enough. Here's what ESPN was scared of, scared of.